For families who have watched grocery bills take an oversized bite out of their budgets. Five, oh, nine. Like Chris Roberts and his three kids, the last two years have been tough to swallow. We used to spend 30, 30 dollars a day and now it's closer to 60. But months of double digit food increases appear to finally be easing. So even not going up anymore, even just stable, does that make a difference? Absolutely. Give some hope. The Bureau of Labor Statistics shows food at home prices fell modestly month to month in March and April, the first time the benchmark has actually come down since September 2020. In South Florida, some parents trying to capitalize ahead of the Mother's Day and Memorial Day holidays. Are you guys planning on having a big family meal? Um, we normally do. I am very much so looking at the buy one, get one ribs behind you. <laughs> With so many eyeing savings, here are some items in your cart that now cost less. Eggs have cracked their pricing surge, falling 1.5% after a nearly 11% drop the month before. Milk prices are down 2%, the biggest decrease in more than eight years, and fruits and veggies dipped 0.5%. Thinking about firing up the grill? Barbecue staples like hot dogs are 2.9% cheaper, but ground beef for burgers and chicken are slightly more expensive. Certain areas, certain commodities are still strong. Certain have uh, weakened, such as poultry and pork. Uh, Owner John Alfano at Doris's Italian Market in Sunrise, Florida, walking us through your best deals. You mentioned chicken and poultry. Yes. Better value here? Definitely. Compared to beef, uh, poultry is much more reasonable right now. Uh, chicken wings are, are probably the, the best bet right now price-wise in the poultry market and great for grilling. As for key tips to save even more, consider buying the store brand. When dixie says its private label can be around 20% cheaper. And look ahead of time online at what deal stores are doling out, so like Brianna Williams did. If I had a taste for something, but next week it's going to go on sale, I'll wait and buy it when it's buy one, get one free. All right, so Sam, some good news here. I mean, could we continue to see these food prices go down? So no doubt, Craig, trends right now are moving in the right direction. This is month to month, though. That is what's dipped. If you look at grocery prices year over year, where were we 12 months ago? It's still 7.1% more expensive for groceries. A lot of families are thinking it's still elevated from the pandemic. That is true. But look back to August of 2022, when it was a 13.5% increase year over year. So that is, again, a better direction that we're going. Some of the underlying issues that caused those food spikes in the first place, though, labor issues, supply chain issues, they're still there. There, but fuel has come down more than 12 percent. One of the driving reasons right now why we're looking at a slightly more digestible tab for families ahead of the holidays. Craig. Indeed. All right. Sam Brock for us there. Sam, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.